A mistake in filing for his seat could end up costing Congressman Thaddeus McCotter his job. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich talked with the congressman about it for the first time. Somebody screwed up here. The mistake so bad on something so routine that it could cost the congressman his seat. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter still doesn't know who's to blame. Someone could have panicked, someone could have plotted, someone could have done it to help you, someone could have done it to hurt you. As a result, the incumbent is not on the ballot in the 11th District Congressional race for the August primary. Well, I don't know that I feel like Edmund Hillary at Everest, but it's certainly going to be a steep climb. A candidate qualifies for the ballot by submitting 1,000 valid voter signatures by deadline time. McCotter's people have done it for the past five years. It should have been routine. But the Secretary of State notified his camp Friday that he didn't make the ballot because they only had 244 valid signatures. The Secretary of State threw out 1,589 signatures because they were photocopied duplicates. You have the appropriate state agencies, the Secretary of State and the Attorney General, who will find find that out, who will inform us, and at that point then we will take corrective action. And we know that the hardest part is the write my name in please request, so that people know that when they go in they can't just vote for you. It now means voters will physically have to write in McCotter's name. The only other Republican on the ballot is Carrie Bentivoglio, a teacher from Milford. The big question now over the next couple of months, can voters write in the congressman's name to help get him reelected? From Plymouth, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.